Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we are answering a question from Gabe Thorns. Hola, Gabe. Hola, Gabe. Okay. And this one is going to be uh, early intermediate. Okay. And it's the, just the, decided. Isn't yeah, well, I, was, uh, I was working out early what, intermediate. what the best level would be. <laughs> and this is Gabe asking about food. Ooh, and and food. giving giving feedback on the food. Feedback on the food. Feedback on the food. Así mm, que vamos food. a hablar de my, todo. One of my favorite subjects. Correcto. Vamos <laughs> food, a hablar animals. de todo. <laughs> eh? food, food and animals. animals. <laughs> food today. Animals in the next one. And then maybe transportes. Okay, so. Nos, nos vemos en la segunda parte. And remember, if you like this kind of uh, format that we use, remember that we have lots and lots of other things, other resources that you can you can uh, make available to yourself. One of them that I would like to bring your attention to, because I worked very hard on them, <laughs> is <laughs> worked very hard. It are our audiobooks. So we've got <laughs> audiobooks on the website now that are available. You can download them to your own devices. But also we've got the audiobooks that are starting to appear on all of the other platforms except for Audible because we yes. got thrown off Audible. But they're everywhere why. else and they're on Spotify, Spotify and they're, but they're on lots of other ones. Yeah. And we actually got our first one sale, one sale from the outside sources. So oh. it means it's working. So they're okay. available. Yeah. <laughs> but if you just want something quick, quick and easy, go to the website and then just download them directly from there. You will find that there will be a darn sight cheaper on the website than there will be elsewhere. Okay, so, eso es todo. Now, Gabe. Eh? This is usually the case, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Gabe's got a, a, a question and he's saying, eh, ¿Cuál usaríais cuando queréis comentar sobre la comida? For example, in a restaurant, talking with a waiter or whatever. Uh, he says he's heard lots of variations. For example, he usually, he used to use la comida era buena. That's what he used to use. Or la comida fue buena. All right. Mm. But in the other day in Peru, a man asked us, la comida estuvo buena? So now I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Okay, so which do we use? And this is a great question because right. if you get it wrong, remember food here in Spain, we're only going to talk about Spain. Food is a religion. It's up there. It's a cult. Yeah, and there's a special language Not that's a attached. A religion. a religion. A religion, accept it. A cult? <laughs> it's going too far. That's, that's However, far. the reason that you know it's a cult is because cults have specific language that they only use, only they use. And the Spanish only talk about food in a certain way. The break the actual grammatical rules to talk about food in a certain way. So it's a bit culty. So you've got to know how to do it. Yeah. So right. first of all. Well, first of all, I answered. I already answered Gabe. Uh -huh. um, so he'll know the answer by now. But mm -hmm. we'll talk about that for everybody else. Because mm -hmm. um, it's a good question. So. So you first thing. I was going to say, right. Oh. First of all. I think what we need to make clear is the structure, which verb goes with which word, okay? Yeah. So, when you talk about food and you're giving compliments, you're never going to use ser, okay? Exactly. Well, we have to distinguish between quality of the food yeah. and taste. I'm talking about the compliment like, that was lovely, thank when you very you much. When you compliment, you compliment the taste. You don't, you don't compliment about the quality of the food. Yeah. Usually, yeah, when you say, this was nice. You don't say, good quality meat or something, no? Exactly, yeah. So, when we talk about quality, then we're going to use the verb ser. Yeah, mm -hmm. la comida es buena. It's like, it's good quality food. Es buena comida. Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean it's tasty. It but just doesn't mean it's tasty. Quality. It just means it's good quality. We're talking about quality. But usually the compliments we give are about taste mm -hmm. and how the food was prepared more than the quality. So we're going to use the verb estar. Okay. Yeah? So this is when I was talking about, because it's a bit culty, the, <laughs> the break the normal rules. Normally the rules go like this. Ser bueno, 
estar bien. Exactly. But when we talk about food, we are allowed to break the rules and we're, we mix estar with bueno. Food yeah. and people. And people. I if didn't want to confuse say, the <laughs> sexy people. <laughs> yeah, we can say somebody's tasty. We can say, hmm, he's tasty or she's tasty. Está bueno, está buena. But you'll notice that it's still referring, it's still the food reference. You just you're just projecting onto a person exactly. saying they're tasty, I could eat them. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But it's still food. It's about food. So estar buena la comida. Estar yeah? buena. So that's the first rule. Keep that in mind. Estar buena. Right? There are lots of other words other than buena, but we use it with estar, right? Because we're talking about the state of the food, the state it came in, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Muy bien. And then, so in present, Cynthia, you want to say this is really tasty. What are you going to say? Oh, esto está riquísimo. Está riquísimo. Está delicioso. Usually yeah. riquísimo or rico. When yeah. something is rico, um, which is like rich, but not rich as in tasty. too much. It's like tasty, so tasty. Mm. So nice. Mm-hmm. So está if rico. you wanted to use the word bueno, obviously if it's comida, you could say... Está buenísima. Está buenísima la comida. Yeah. Sí, o está muy rica. Listen to what Cynthia's doing. Está buena isn't a real compliment. I mean, that's just a basic. La comida está buena. Bueno, supongo que sí. Oh, la comida está buena. Yeah, but it's Everybody's not... Everybody's actually surprised. Oh, it's actually good. <laughs> it's not that much of a compliment. Uh-huh. Buenísima, riquísima. Eh... Para chuparse los dedos. Para chuparse los dedos. So, you've got to be... Eh, like effusive in your in your yes, compliments with, yes with yes absolutely in spain i think it this is in all of uh latin american countries and yeah, spain yeah we like i mean people some people spend a good amount of time cooking and they like to be appraised and so in spain we like to say riquísima la comida we always have to say that like if you eat it in somewhere especially family yeah with your family or your husband's family your wife's family always say that the food is really nice i remember preparing some pasta once uh, for your sister and uh, her very first boyfriend and he said esta cojonudo <laughs> and I, and i was i was over the moon with that well you could use cojonudo but i wouldn't <laughs> use that within some formal situations <laughs> With friends, you could say yeah. cojonudo. Cojonudo. Um, okay, so then, go on, sorry. Sorry, I, I was just going to say, you don't have to finish, you don't have to wait until you finish your meal to say. No. Because if not, some people will ask, um, ¿Te gusta? ¿Está bueno? Because if you don't say, like, you've got to maybe take one, two bites, and then you have to say, well, you don't have to. You say, you know what I mean. Déjame, déjame like, probarlo. Oh, they're, they're waiting for you to try it. Yeah. We're talking in a family setting, obviously uh-huh. not in a restaurant. Uh-huh. In a family setting. Yeah. They're waiting for you to try it. They want to see your reaction. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, está muy rico. So don't wait until you finish. Yeah. That's more for a restaurant. When you finish in a restaurant, then the waiter comes over and you could say to him, by the way, the food was really nice. Yeah. La comida estaba muy buena. Okay, um, so we're going to come into that. Just, just, just estaba, before Cynthia moves on to the past, oh. just remember, before you uh, move on to the past, everything that Cynthia said, even if she's used the word buena or, or rica, she's put muy in front of it. Okay, so you're going to get buen, buenísima, riquísima, or muy rica, muy buena. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Extra. O, o deliciosa. Deliciosa. Okay, so we're moving on to the past now. How do you say it yes. was nice? Yes, because um, he said that he went to Peru and this Peruvian guy said, asked him, La comida estuvo buena? Which we wouldn't use, I mean, obviously, in different parts of the world, in, in the speaking community, they'll have different rules. So I can only speak for Spain. Mm. Um, we would tend to say la comida está la comida estaba buena if you finished mm, like recently. Just recently, yeah, yeah. Because estuvo sounds a bit like a, a while back. Yeah, and here in Spain it pushes mm. it into the past when you're talking about a meal that you had a while ago, the yes. wedding or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sí, like yeah. if you have to remember, oh, la comida ahí estuvo muy buena. 
But bear in yeah. mind, the, the, the structure is exactly the same. Estar, buena. Mm-hmm. Okay? So all that's happening is, if you want to say it was, you're going to say estaba. Yeah. Okay? Especially when if the waiter comes and says, eh, ¿Qué tal todo? Oh, estaba riquísima la, la comida. Muchas gracias. Estaba. Okay? Yes. And estuvo, if you if you here in Spain, if you're referring to something way back, a bit yes. further back, yeah? So, Gabe, because Gabe has used the verb ser in every sentence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then we would use the verb estar, okay? Unless you're talking about the quality of the food. Yeah. But taste, estar. Um, and then the Peruvian guy with la comida estuvo buena, we would say la comida. ¿Estaba buena la comida? That's definitely what we would say in Spain. ¿Estaba buena? Mm-hmm. Pues estuvo, again, it's like remembering something like, oh yeah, I remember that. It was a good restaurant, the mm-hmm. food was nice. So I've, I've heard like, people talking about a restaurant that say, es, es, es buena comida, eh? Es buena oh, yes, comida. of course. So when you're using ser with buena comida, you're saying this is, you know, they obviously get good food in. This is not rubbish food. So that's different when you're talking about es buena comida. Yes. It's good for you. It's good stuff. Exactly. Yeah? I could be talking about a restaurant and say, oh, let's go to the restaurant because the food there is good. Like mm-hmm. good quality food. I could say that. Exactly. But we're talking about complimenting after or during the meal. So that would be about taste and that mm-hmm. would be estar. Okay. So estar with your, with your uh, describer. Exactly. Buena, buenísima, muy Riquísima, buena. Buenísima, deliciosa. Riquísima. Sí. Mm-hmm. And... Cynthia's already given you the tip here in Spain after your second first mouthful if you want yes. don't wait to the second one because they'll be getting anxious first mouthful oh, está que, que yeah. rico que rico extra yeah. points if you make noise like a noise like mmm then that's it sí, sí, sí. <laughs> <laughs> that's like extra points and then when you've finished another compliment in the past oh, yes. estaba estaba oh, Uf, Dios uh, que estaba, rica la que, comida sí. you don't even have to use the verb Dios, sí. qué rica, muy rica estoy la comida. Estoy llenísimo, estoy llenísimo. Qué rica la comida. Por Dios. Con well, <laughs> I've After seen years look, of training. Look, just, just to finish, I have seen, Spanish people, they, they have a gift. The gift is being able to be enthusiastic and excited about food, any kind of food. It really doesn't matter. I've seen people here in Spain getting some bread, right? Just bread, just a, just a bread, and going. Oh, it's that, it's that. You see my army. It's just out of the, the, the oven. Pan, you know, and everybody starts talking about how much they like bread. A mí me encanta. A mí me encanta. Oh, yeah, it's good. But uh, look, for example, something that I've noticed culturally, like sometimes I have people from England coming over, some from Gordon's family, and I make food for them. I give them the plate. They eat it. They give me the plate back. And they don't say anything at all. Not even a thank you. Not even a thank you for that. I'm not joking. Not even a thank you for the food. So I'm like, so the first thing you think is like, they didn't like it. They didn't like it because they didn't say anything. They ate it out of compromise. Out of, out of uh, obligation. Obligation. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, that's what we think. So if you don't say that, immediately people are going to think, you didn't like it. You're in it. Spain. Yeah, in you, Spain, in yeah. Spain, of course. And of course, it, it, my family is it. Was that nice? Oh, yeah, it was lovely. But we we just haven't got the culture to be going on about it. Yeah. yeah Which is here. weird because you're always like, thank you, thank you, thank uh-huh, you, thank uh-huh. you, thank you, thank you. And then with food, nothing. With food, it's like your plate, you eat it. That's your plate, but and not, you go. Not everybody. Obviously, this is not a, uh, this is not a fantasy to talk about <laughs> all the people from Britain. Maybe no, it's no, just, all of people just from Britain. My, my, my experience, and especially young, having young people, uh, that younger come people from Britain, not that young, in their twenties, not, not they're not they're not ten. For me, year, they're just still children. <laughs> ten year old children. They're just children. They just go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wash the plate. They just hand it back over, and then continue watching the TV. Well, the plate the plate has always been empty, cleaned, cleaned. So at least you think, well, they ate it. Yeah. They're not going to be hungry for a while. Did they like it? We'll I, never know. <laughs> I mean, I, I've I've heard in the UK, my, my parents say, well, they must have liked it because they've eaten it all. You know, that's that's how we know. Based on, you know, it's how you leave your plate. Yeah. That's that's your message of thank you. Yes. Whereas here, no, you've got to voice it. Voice, voice it. it. Even if you don't like it, just out of... Be enthusiastic. Compliment. Find something on the plate that you like. Yeah. How do you make... I don't know. 
how do you make these carrots? Anything, whatever. <laughs> I like the way you make the omelette. You know, anything exactly. like that. If you're not going to compliment like this is nice, you could say things like that, like, oh, mm, how did you make this? ¿Qué lleva? ¿Qué lleva la, la uh -huh. tortilla? Yeah. You know, w with that voice. You yeah, hear the voice. Like, ¿Qué lleva? Like, yeah, 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 with enthusiasm. With, with interest. It's food. Enthusiastic voice. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, entonces, eso es todo. Muchas gracias, chicos. Eh, y gracias, Gabe. ¿No es Gabe? Sí, es Gabe. Entonces, eh, ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.